When King Saul disobeyed God's instructions, the Lord told the prophet Samuel he was sorry he had made Saul king. Saul lied to Samuel, insisting he had done as God had asked. Samuel told Saul, As you have rejected God's command he has rejected you as king. Samuel went away and never meet with Saul again. But who will be the next king of Israel? The prophet Samuel was very sad that God had rejected Saul as king. God then told Samuel his plan for the future. Get some olive oil and go to Bethlehem to a man named Jesse, because I have chosen one of his sons to be king. How can I do that? Samuel asked. If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. The Lord replied. Take a calf with you and say that you are there to offer a sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will tell you the man I have chosen as king. Samuel obeyed. At the sacrifice, Samuel saw Jesse's son Eliab and thought, This man standing must be one God has chosen. But the Lord said to him, Pay no attention to how tall and handsome he is. I have rejected him, because I do not judge as people judge. They look at the outward appearance, but I look at the heart. Then Jesse called his next oldest son Abinadab but Samuel said, No, the Lord hasn't chosen him either. Jesse then brought Shammah. No, the Lord hasn't chosen him either, said Samuel. One by one, Jesse brought seven of his sons to Samuel. But Samuel said to him, No, the Lord hasn't chosen any of these. The prophet Samuel asked Jesse, Do you have any more sons? Jesse answered, There is the youngest, David, but he is out taking care of the sheep. Tell him to come here, Samuel said. We won't offer the sacrifice until he comes. So Jesse sent for him. He was a handsome, healthy young man, and his eyes sparkled. The Lord said to Samuel, This is the one, anoint him. Samuel took the olive oil and anointed David in front of his brothers. Immediately the Spirit of the Lord took control of David and was with him from that day on. Meanwhile King Saul was being tormented by evil and in a bad mood. His servants said, Jesse has a son, who plays the harp. He is a good musician and Lord is with him. When you are tormented, let him play his harp and you will be all right again. David served King Saul by playing his harp when the king was tormented by evil. Saul, at first, liked him very much and chose him as the man to carry his weapons.